In this video, we're going to look at installing, updating, and registering your Bobcat software. Now, one of the first things to do before we even put the CD in is to make sure that the Windows system is up to date, as well as the graphics card driver. And we'll go ahead and show you how to do this now. Now, if you've already installed the system, it might be a good idea to check this as well as this will make the software run well or stable. So to check, the first thing that we're going to do is come down to our Windows Start button. Now, we're doing this on a Windows 7 computer. You can also use, for the current version of software, Windows XP or Windows Vista as well as Windows 7, either 32 or 64-bit. So the first thing to do is check our Windows updates. To do this, I'm going to type in Windows Update. Here we can see that we have our Windows Update program, so we'll go ahead and click on it. Now, this will tell us if we have any updates that are needed for the computer. In this case, I have 12 important updates available and 3 that are optional. I'll go ahead and install the updates. So we'll click on Install Updates. Now, if your computer is already up to date, you can just go ahead and close out this window. Now, if your computer is not connected to the Internet, and you can't connect it to the internet to do this, you might want to contact your IT person and have them send you a disk or give you a disk with the updates for that computer, which you'll be able to get from any other computer that is hooked up to the internet. Now we'll go ahead and let those updates run. After the Windows system is done updating, the next thing that we want to do is check the graphics card driver. Now both of these steps need to be done, whether your computer is new or if it's old, chances are the drivers are still out of date. So we'll click on the Windows Start button, we'll come over here to Computer, right click on it, and left click on Properties. This will give us some information about the computer. You could also check to see if your computer meets our system requirements. And you can find those system requirements on our website at bobcad.com. In this case though, we want to check the graphics card, so we'll come to the Device Manager, and then display adapters. Here we can see that this computer has an ATI Mobility Radeon HD4330. We can right click on this and then left click on properties and come to driver. This will tell us the driver date as well as the driver version. Now there is an update driver button here but this checks for Windows updates not for specific updates for the hardware. So what you want to do is go to the computer manufacturer's website or the graphics card manufacturer's website to obtain updates for that hardware. In this case, this is an ATI. So to check for updates, what we'll do is we'll launch the internet. And if you're not sure of the website, you can always search for the website. In this case, though, I'll just go to ATI.com. And in this case, they have a little drown download drivers tool on their website. We'll choose desktop graphics. This is desktop. Actually, notebook graphics. We'll come to mobility radeon. In this case, it's a 4300, so I'll go to the HD4 series. And choose my operating system, which is Windows 7 32-bit which is all displayed on this page right here. We'll view our results. In this case, I could see that there was an update just a little while ago, so this is definitely a newer driver than the one that's installed on this computer. So we'll go ahead and download it, save the file to the computer, and then after it's done saving, we'll go ahead and run the installation. It's very important to make sure that the graphics card driver is updated, as well as your Windows system, as Bobcad needs these things to run. Now that our updates are complete, we want to go ahead and put the CD in the computer. Now, on most computers, as soon as you put the CD in, you'll get an auto-run box, or the software will launch and prompt you with the installation like this to run the setup. 
Now, if this does not come up, you can also always go through your computer and start the CD. We can come to Start, and Computer, and then just double click on our CD drive and this will also launch the CD. And this is going to prompt us what language to install in. We'll go ahead and click Next and allow the software to install. Now, while installing, this will also install some of the critical Windows system components. So we'll just go ahead and let that run. Now the installation wizard has popped up. We'll go ahead and click Next. Look at or read through the license agreement. Accept the terms. And click Next again. And then fill out our username and company name. These can be anything that you want them to be. We'll choose next. We'll choose to do a complete installation. And then click install. This will start installing the Microsoft updates as well as the Bobcat products and the simulation and the verification products. We'll just go ahead and let that run. And within a few moments, the next installer for the editor will appear on the screen. We have to do the same thing, go through the license agreement, and then install the software. Now the virtual or the simulation product will install and we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. Now this is the last item that we'll be installing. So once this installs we should be just about finished. We'll choose finish. Now on the desktop we'll see we have the Predator CNC editor the Bobcat Cam V24, and then the simulation. Now that we're done installing, the next step is going to be to register the software.